Knife Safety 101 by Julia. I didn't say it was a Knife Safety YouTube channel. <laughs> well, that's just true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a chalk bag. A brand new one. A brand new one from Petzl. Thank you so much for the stickers. Always appreciate free stickers. Oh, she's nice! Ooh. Oh my god, and she's teal. I like her. Yeah. It's got a nice little wide pocket, which I really dig. It's got a frame around the rim, kind of. Like it's. Oh. This is our old chalk bag that we've been sharing, which isn't bad, but like in the oh, gym, wow, yeah, it's that's... nice to have two. Dude, yeah, the, the rim, that's cool. Yeah, the, the framed rim is totally different. I don't know what brand this is. Static. And it's like a little like drug rug type thing. What are you going to use it okay, for? I might put my cell phone in it. So you can like take pictures when you're out there? Mm hmm. Yeah. And like do like vloggy stuff while I'm on the wall. Oh, and there's a little. Yeah, there's brush holders. <clears throat> That's cool. That's really cool. We need to get a brush actually. Yeah, and it comes with a strap so I can like wear it while I'm bouldering in the gym. Oh, uh, you know, classic. Soft lining on the inside. I'll pull that this one out and show you too. No? Don't do that. I don't think you should do that. That one's full. Just full. This was, how much was this? $21.95 with shipping, but I got it like. It was on sale. A certain percentage off, so it was originally $27. Bucks. I was like, junk at that. Mm -hmm. Also, our other most recent new toy that we got. This thing, I love it yes. so much. Yes. It's like those lightsabers as a child that you put. Did you have those? The ones that you had, like Walmart that were retractable? Yeah. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes. And it locks each level mm -hmm. so you can like do adjustable levels if you want. I don't know why you would ever want to do anything that is maximum, but you could do that. And we like saw this on um, a guy at the wall had one and we were like, that's the one I want. Yeah. Good guy climber at the wall let us use his stick clip because we didn't have one. Because we're bums. And then we were like, we gotta fucking have this. This is everything. It's uh, this was how much was this? This was fifty this is bucks. This fifty bucks, yeah. But it's kind of like an investment. Like it's like this can last. Yeah. And practically it's like, forever. It's aluminum. Yeah. It's, it's, it's light. I think it's like Kylis. Yeah. Kylis is the brand, but um, yeah, it's labeled as clip up. I don't know. Yeah. yeah that's just what you do with it. You clip up. You clip up. You just you clip stick it up. up. Clip, stick up, clip yeah. up. But yeah, it's really, the reason we liked it is because it's so light. It's and like light. And we, it's we don't, Yeah, we don't want to carry a walking stick with us while we're, you know, approaching the fucking wall. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So this is my harness. I always have my shoes attached, typically. And we both have the pretzel brand. Oh, God. Petzl, yes. Not, did I say pretzel? Yes. Did I? Yes, you did 100%. Oh, okay, Met Petzl. I have the Sama, she has the Selena. But I've, this is my first harness I've ever had. Um, and I, I absolutely love it. The only reason I got this one in particular was because I tried on a few and I couldn't get any of them over my butt. Um, Without like completely taking the harness. Right, the this, this the... one was uh, expandable enough to do so. It also has the um, the legs aren't adjustable, but they're like they they I feel secure in it. I think yours are the same. Yeah, mine are adjustable as well, and it had the auto locking. Um, yeah, that's huge. Like yeah, and it doubles it back for you. Definitely. It's got I really like that it has a little spot for the chalk specifically to go. That's not like slinging all over the place, and I don't know. I really dig the color, and it has a spot to like tuck back the strap after you've pulled it all the way through. Because I have to pull mine literally this far, and it like I have to use the last strap, the last like little spot for it. So it's really nice. Yeah, it's a super nice. I'm gonna try to clean these in another video and yeah. do like a little. They're a bit stinky. Yeah, they're but definitely used. <laughs> used butt and back sweat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the, like, I saw this with a whole bunch of other different climbing harnesses, but they came with, like, a really nice little bag that yeah. I can just use for toiletries now, and it's, yeah. I mean, you could use it for anything. Yeah, you know, literally anything. They're super nice. I really like the bag. You could potentially use them for a harness as well. 
It's very like, who the puts their harness in a bag by itself? Madness. This is both of our first pairs of shoes. Um, mine are Tanaya Tantas. And we got these in January. Yeah, January. I bought them from like a little local shop. And yeah, J and H Outdoor, Lexington, Kentucky. Shout out. Um, <laughs> uh, they were super helpful, and like you know, we weren't really we were we recently you know, we've only been climbing for like what six months. Yeah, I mean the first time that I climbed indoors was with you, and that would have been in like October yeah. of 2018. So, so we're relatively new to the sport, but like it's really both like have ignited our passions with it and yeah it's so um, much fun and like we i mean i definitely was i had done a little bit of research like walking into the shop but like i definitely didn't know exactly what i was looking for i didn't really even understand that there were like different levels of shoes like they like extremely aggressive um shoe versus like you know what you would wear something like all day um and i got a mid-range shoe and i, I absolutely at first despised the shoe because it hurt my feet um, but once I wore it in, and I, I really, really like it, and I have the Evolve brand. I don't know exactly what the name of this shoe is. We can look it up. Addict, maybe? It might be Addict. I don't know. Um, but I am an addict now. For climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mine also same. They were the first pair. I guess the... We've probably, I've probably done like, I would say like a hundred cents in these between like outside, indoor, the, outdoor oh, on these. Wait, I would say 200. 200? Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um, but I really liked them because they didn't kill my feet when I was first wearing them. I think I got like a really good size on my first pair. Um, I've read that a lot of people go too small on their first pair and it just fucking kills their feet. I think that's what I think. Um, that and it's leather, so it would ex it, it expanded a little bit more than a synthetic fabric would, but something that um, the salesperson in Jane H told me at least. But yeah, two hundred expansive research. Yeah, <laughs> two hundred cents on these and like. I don't know, maybe like are between we... 100 and 200. And my toes are splitting on both of them. This one's fairly recent, but this one's been split for probably a month now. And like the uh, rubber is coming up on um, the top part of the foot. I don't know if I'm like particularly rough on my shoes. I like my regular shoes, yeah, I'm super rough on them. But I really only, I, like I don't walk around or like belay my climbing shoes. I literally just like wear them on the wall and that's it. And so it seems to me that like yeah, I mean we we've, these... we've done like almost identical amount yeah. of climbing. So almost like identical. It, it's kind of a really interesting product test really to yeah. see like yeah, and obviously like mine are definitely more pointed than yours. These are way more rounded, right. but like it just seems as though these didn't hold up as best as they could. But then again, I could also be really hard on my shoes and not even realize it. Yeah, and I mean, I definitely, the way that we climb is different. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, I do use more upper body and uh, mm -hmm. more dynamic motions, and Julia is more of a, like, static climber and, like, yeah, very I, focused on your feet. Yeah, and I'm, like, digging my toe into right. the fucking rock, trying so to... So like, that, that could have some impact as well. Yeah. Like, it's hard to say. Um, and then I just got a fresh new pair of climbing Ooh. shoes. So. Black, Black Diamond. Um, these, I think, came out this year, this season. Um, these are a, a way more aggressive. You can see like the the curve on the shoe is pretty uh, intense. I'm hoping that this will fit into my my style of climbing. That's like static, having my feet planted. I went for the double Velcro again because I didn't really like that because I do have like I have pretty high arches and so I wanted to be able to like have some space for the top of my foot. Yeah, and that's one thing I didn't mention about these is like these have no straps. And I was a little bit worried, and they have expanded. Like this is all elastic here. Um, like you can see, like it's it kind of looks silly. It's looser. It is looser, but like I've never once felt that it was like going to fall off. Mm -hmm. like, uh, one thing I will also say about these is that they did dye your feet. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. I had I still like very recently I've had like depending on how much I've sweat in them, mm. I've had extremely yellow feet and. Mm. 
it looks like I have like jaundice. Yeah, and I know that these come in red too. So I've seen I've seen people wearing them, and I'm like, I bet the first time you wore those, it turned your feet oh, completely like bright red. red. Yeah. And it like looks like you got like some sort of terrible rash. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I'm really excited to try these. We're going out to the red this weekend. Um, and uh, we're gonna go to the Chocolate Factory Wall, and we're gonna go to Muir Valley, and it's gonna be super fun. Um, and we've been we've been going there. That's our main. Or we're lucky enough to live in Kentucky and like have. It's like right there. It's an hour and a half away. Yeah. Like super jealous of these. Like these look so cool. They just mm -hmm. look slick. Yeah, like, they do look really really slick. And I'm a professional climber. She's I can do all the climber things now yeah. with my black diamond. That's that's true. Call it climber shoes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Next, we've got uh, a, a bit of our gear. We, we bought. Uh, I bought a two pack of the black diamond quick draws. Which come um, so it's six in each pack. So it, we have a total of twelve, and that yeah. that basically allows us to do pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, because even if you do have routes that where you need 13 or 14, you can always go back. Right. Pretty high quality. It's a, you know the two different colors can tell which one's supposed to be on the wall, which one's not. Um, I really like them. I mean, they're yeah, they're they're completely functional, they're practical. Completely functional, um, practical. Yeah, the gate it, it has a pretty wide gate, but um, I don't know, not too terribly wide. It fits well on our stick clip, like. Yeah. It's all, all around good. And then this is a triple locking, like auto locker carabiner from Magrock. And so I was like cruising back country and all of the triple locking carabiners were like over $20. And I'm not, I don't want to say cheap, but I'm frugal. And then I found these and they were only $13.99. Yes. We have these um, slings. So we... They're from Petzl. Yeah, yeah, we didn't know how like long they were going to be um, because it was listed and it didn't like discern between set or diameter or um, circumference. circumference thank you and so we we went with one and we were wrong but they work and we just double them up and double the safety mm -hmm. so. the only thing is that it is bulky in the this, this section right here, it does make pulling your rope through while you're cleaning a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I mean, um, it is a little bit bulky. Because like, it's having, crowded. And we do another one in there. Yeah, because it's crowded. Um, so that's something that we'll probably be replacing. Yeah. All right, next we have this Trango Triple Lock and Carabiner on our belay device. It's an ATC from Black Diamond. We didn't want to invest in a Grigri at first because we really didn't know like how much well, we got we this like really early on and when we were starting to climb and like yeah yeah it just it made sense to go with the cheaper option and like, yeah it was I only mean, 20 bucks yeah, yeah. it's perfectly functional it is um and, and it's, definitely that's, I think it's something that we'll get eventually yeah definitely get yeah definitely will invest in a gree gree it's just that like right now for the types of climbs that we're doing an atc was perfectly fun um last we got these belay glasses off of Amazon. Um, we got these glasses off of Amazon. They're G N E I S S. Is that nice? You think? Probably. Nice? But yeah, I mean, it's not something that you like, absolutely need. But no, but oh my god, it makes such a difference with the nice. bag. Um, but they are so useful, and they're very, uh, they're lightweight. They came with this dope little carrying case, and you just like slip, slip a little carabiner on there, and throw it on the outside of your pack, and. It's got cleaning glasses in it. They're really just like in general pretty nice. And I was kind of disappointed because when I was looking on like Petzl and like uh, Black Diamond and you know on all the different Climber Supplies website, <laughs> um, I was finding that Belay glasses were like 70, 80, 90 dollars. And okay, so yeah, I literally bought this tarp at Walmart like three years ago for camping. And I do think eventually we should get a rope bag, but his Osprey Stratus is actually pretty nice because it's got like a front loading section. Mm -hmm. And this is a nine and a half millimeter uh, rope. It's actually pretty decently lightweight. When I was doing my research, a lot of the uh, websites said to, you know, for if you're first starting out, to do uh, nine and a half to like, to like, 10 millimeter in diameter and I'm like one of my friends had a nine and a half or a 9.8 millimeter 
uh, rope and it was just so fucking heavy and it was actually as significantly lighter. Yeah. Oh my god, Aang, could you not clean yourself in the back frame? Get out of here! Um, I do feel like this rope is significantly lighter, you know, it's 70 meters, so it's we can do some pretty long uh, routes with them. We use this pack. I think it's been there's some From Osprey, stuff. yeah. Like, tons of pockets, one of the things I love about them. Mm -hmm. But like, and one of that, it has this front loading. Yeah. Into the same pouch as like, you can go on the top. Uh, but it's perfect for the rope. It really is. It really, really is. And then the rope sits down on the bottom and you just like pile on all the rest of the gear on top. And then um, we also typically, so I'll be carrying that and then show carry this one, proportionally sized bag. <laughs> yeah, this one has a much lighter, more flexible frame in it. It's got a spot for a reservoir. Um, and so I normally carry all the water and the shoes. Um, and then, yeah. And then like food. Yeah. And like a, I bring my speaker sometimes. If there's no one there, I'll play music. Um, 